What is up everybody? My name is Lack, I'm a motion designer and I have just released a new pack, it's called Astro and it's for sale on VG Loops and soon will be on Resolume. Uh, today I will be showing you the capabilities of Astro, how to use it. If you already have bought the pack, thank you very much. If you did not bought the pack yet, please consider and we'll be diving right in. So uh, first things first, I have made a naming convention to keep things clear and to organize your clips. So the first name of the clip, as you can see here, is Falcon underscore base flashes. So this is the Falcon mini pack. So it's the pack with, uh, let me just open the clip, with the Falcon. Second name is uh, referring to the animation. So uh, in this case, it is the base animation of the Falcon, just like being very still and breathing a bit. But we also have, for instance, the Falcon bounce. So this is Falcon underscore bounce, and the bounce refers to the bouncing animation. However, let me get back to the base. Uh, so we have Falcon underscore base, so it's the base animation space base so this is the base lighting set this is a light pass lighting set this is a tattoo lighting set this is a background lighting set this is the bpm lighting set and this is the flashes lighting set the thing is uh, these mini packs work in tandem with each other but you can only use clips that have the same first two names so you can use the falcon base together with everything that is called falcon underscore base but you cannot use them with falcon bounce because these animations don't line up so it will have a weird effect let me just show you as you can see we have the flashing animation of the still falcon with the bouncing falcon on top which does not match second thing is a uh, best way to use these in resolute is to have the clips in transport mode on bpm sync as you can see, PPM sync. Uh, this way, uh, very important, whenever the clips don't line up well or don't seem to fit together, like now, they're a bit, as you can see, so now they're playing again. If we hit resync, the animations line up perfectly. So this is the way we have to use PPM sync. Uh, whenever you do an edit in for, let's say, Premiere or After Effects, it's just important to line up the clips correctly have the same starting point and have the same time remappings on each clip. Then, important in Resolume, but as well as in Premiere or After Effects or whatever software you use, is the blending mode. So these clips do have an alpha channel. However, because the lighting is mostly the only thing that is different within each clip, it is important to put your blending mode on, let me just resync, at, so this way, or at 50 or screen. In After Effects and Premiere I prefer Add. In Resolume I prefer 50 Add or Screen because the normal Add does tend to burn your white values a bit much. So this way the light can interact without having the get in the way. So now let me show you the power you have when we have all these sort of different lighting scenarios as different clips. Let me resync. So this way we have the, let me close these up and load in the base on top. So we have the base layer. Let's say we want to interact with the music on a festival or with a DJ set or whatever. We could dial down the base whenever the beat is going. We could use the BPM hit resync to line them all up. Whenever the beat is going harder, we can use the BPN tab, resync to be sure. Then let's say we have a break in the music, we can cut out the BPM visual, put in the background visual. And now the coolest part is whenever the light guy changes the light, we could because we have all these lights in different passes or in different layers, however you want to call it, we could adjust by doing a U-rotate on 
the things that have color. So let's say the light do changes to red. We go to red. And then on the BPM clip, we can do a, instead of a U rotate, maybe a colorize. Open the effects. And then also have it colored red. Then let's say the next drop comes in. We cut out this clip. And we have red lights on our Falcon following the BPM. Even cooler still, so we can also apply this effect to, let's say, the base. So maybe I can use a colorize. Open the colorize, now it's black, that's not good. Let me change the color to maybe some yellowish, yellowish tints. And again, because we have all these clips as different layers, we can dial in perfectly how we want the light to be, interact with the music. Important note when using the BPM is the length of the clip implies the beats that are in it. All clips are made on 120 BPM. So when a clip is four seconds long, there are eight beats in it because there are two beats every second. So if a clip is two seconds, there are four beats. If a clip is eight seconds, there will be 16 beats. So on and so on. So now just to show off other stuff in the pack. Let's for instance open up this guy. This is the dude sitting. Load in another clip. Load in maybe a light pass, which is pretty cool. And then the base. So let's start with the base. We have the base. Let me also so we just have a normal base. Maybe dial it in. Just have it a little subtle on the background. Open up this clip. So we are using the colorize, turn it blue, maybe not so much. So we can follow music with this one. We can make it audio reactive on the opacity if we would like. We could animate beats on these. And then we have a light pass, which is the same. Let me use the colorize on this one. Also to the bluish notes. And then we can play together. Maybe have a green stand out. And again, when using these layers in tandem with each other, you can make a very versatile set and do whatever you like and still have a lot of control over the lights. So basically, the Astro Pack has like five mini packs within the entire pack. So we have the Falcon with a base animation. We have the Falcon with a bounce animation. We have Dude Sitting in different light scenarios. We have an alien floating in space with backgrounds that match like this so we have an alien puzzle with different kind of animations and last but not least we have a triple alien with lights rotating again in different light scenarios so you can match them with your own set which makes a grand total of 74 clips you can play with in the pack so that's kind of it. I hope this makes sense. I hope you like the freedom this gives you. Again, if you bought the pack already, thank you very much. If you have not yet, please consider. Thank you for listening to me. And I wish you a pleasant day or morning or night or whenever you're listening to this. Bye.